Today we're going to take a look at phrasal verbs. So a lot of these phrasal verbs we use in everyday conversation. So a lot of them we use as idioms as well. So take a look at this one up here. I've got where, where, where. fall, fall, here, here, mix, mix, settle, settle. Excellent. What part of speech is that? Verb. Exactly. It's a verb. So with a phrasal verb, what am I missing? The, the, preposition. the preposition. Okay, so take a look at the sentence though. Doing my listening homework really wears me. What do you think is the preposition? What's the opposite of in? Out. 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 Exactly, good. So wear out. That's a preposition. So think about your homework. After you finished your homework, how do you feel? Happy. Uh, you're happy. happy. Yeah. But how does your body feel? How does your brain feel? Tired. Tired. You're so tired. tired. So to wear out means to feel tired. Okay, that's that's a really good one. Turn. Linda, you're first. Can you give me a really good example of wear out? You can use present tense, past tense, future tense, anything you want. Okay, uh, wear out. Uh, uh, waiting bus. Waiting bus really. Wears me out. Good. So waiting for the bus really wears me out. That's a good one. Excellent. Who else gets really tired waiting for the bus? Yeah, it's morning. They get really, really tired. Excellent. Good job, Linda. Thanks. All right, Maria, you're up. Can you use hear of in a quest sentence for me? Uh, hear of. Mm. Have you hear of good. carnival? Good. So don't get past tense. Have you heard of? Carnival. Do you guys know Carnival in Brazil? Yeah. 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 Do you want to go? Yeah. Yes, you want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Mix up in a sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. On time, I mix up the name of my girlfriend. That's yeah. dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend. Oh my god. Did she uh, break up with you pretty fast? Or was yeah, she angry? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Sorry about that, but excellent yeah, sentence. Thank you so much. Practice on. all of these words in conversation. Let's take a look at number five. So you can only choose three foods, and you have to settle on one. Okay. So choose between three. Settle on one. These. This food. This is it. It's the only food you can eat forever and ever and ever. Right. So if I'm Canadian. What food should I choose? What food should I settle on? Uh, Canadian food or. Sure. Fish and chips. Yeah. Thank Salmon. you, Emily. Yes, salmon, fish Salmon's and chips. Exactly. Spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah, spaghetti. yeah, spaghetti would be really good. Oh wait, spaghetti with salmon together. Oh. Oh. That would be really good. Okay, your turn. What food would you settle on? Uh, Who's gonna go first? Okay, can I? Yeah, yeah. go for it, Alex. Oh, I think it's I would choose rice, beans, and oh. meat. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, that's three foods though. You can only choose yeah, one. Yeah, just three. Oh, between three. Oh, okay, uh, beans. 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 Yeah. So, for sure. full sentence. I would. I would. Uh, I would sit, sit on. Good, settle on. Settle on beans for the rest of my life. But why? Because I don't know, I love beans. Perfect answer. <laughs> okay, Emily, your turn. Which food? Um, I want to. I choose. Good, I would settle on. I would settle on. The tteokbokki is kind of Korean food. Okay. It's a really spicy. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is it meat? Is it vegetables? What is it? It's just like a rice cake. Mm. Rice oh. cake. Well, that sounds so good. Really, really delicious. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna check. Yeah, I would settle on meat. Meat. Now, what kind of meat would you choose? Every kind. No, no. but you can't. No. Does that count? But you, must decide. <laughs> yeah. you have to decide on beef, one kind. Beef. beef. Okay. Beef. Why would you choose beef? Because I can't live without beef. <laughs> <laughs> the taste is good. Yeah. I can't yeah. live without beef. I course. understand you. I understand, right. of course. Now, Linda, what about you? Uh, I will settle on stinky tofu. It's kind of Taiwan's, actually, that is junk food, but I really like it. So, uh -huh. stinky tofu? Yes, yes, the smell, smelling is stinky, but taste is really perfect. <laughs> I think. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, you next time? We have class, you should come yeah. with sticky tofu. Awesome. Oh, okay. Definitely. Try. Oh, okay. Try that one. Excellent. Well done, you guys. So don't forget, settle on. It's a regular verb, so you can use settle, settled, or settling on. Definitely. You can use it in any tense that you like.